The action will continue here on field one with the U18 boys final between the Oak Bay Castaway Wanderers and the Academy Minnows team. Okay. U18 boys final here, now set to start. Rejoining us here at West Shore Sevens. The kickoff is up. Oak Bay Castaway Wonders in the stripes. Knocking it forward, it contesting in the air. The Minnows will gather the ball. This is the U18 boys final. Minnows cutting back against the grain now. Low and hard, winning a contact. They've got an overlap here. He fends the tackle, fends two. Trying to go himself here. He's got to win the race now. Early, early attack here from the Minnows, and they will score in the corner. First try goes to Minnows. Conversion to come here now by the Minnows. Low hard drive it has gone wide. The Minnows leading 5 nothing, and will kick off.
I think we gathered the game ball now. The minnow's looking to kick off. CW set to receive in the rings. Low short kick taken by CW. Driving up center for contact. Fighting off a defender, gains a few extra yards here. CW has lost the ball. Penalty given to the Minnows. So Minnows have a, Minnows have a penalty. Attacking penalty here. They tap and they stack the short side with four. Oh, tackle missed here. Tackles missed all over. Oh, shortened up, looking for an offload. Picked low, driving himself, and he's knocked it on forward. It will be a CW scrum at the death. It looked to be everything trying at the last second. Desperation tackle made. It will be a CW scrum on the five, but they're still under pressure here. Setting the scrum up now. CW set to put in. CW not set up to kick right now, looking to drive out of their zone. Ball bobbled. Knocked forward by the Minnows. Advantage given to CW. They will try. They've kicked it. Referee at the moment playing on. Oh, knocked up in the air by CW. Almost regathered. Penalty will be given back here. We've got a penalty advantage. Looks like the nine was offside at the scrum there. So CW getting out of trouble. What looked to be a scrum. Or what had looked to become a try, became a scrum, and now a penalty. We'll see what they can do with this good fortune. Setting up to kick, but they will tap. Give it to the big man to run through, find some contact. Throws it backwards on the ground, kicked forwards by CW. Play on, kicked again on the ground. Minnows regather on the CW 40. Minnows now, pressured by CW, swing it through center. Stepping, contact made. Trying to hold him up to get the mall call. Man down, tackle is called. And for the moment, Minnows retain pressure. However, CW pressuring at the ruck. We're saying unplayable, so it will be a Minnows scrum. The referee has said that ball has become unplayable. Minnows scrum, they will have a scrum center field just within the CW's half here. Great attacking position. Minnows split the field and put their first receiver directly behind the scrum, looking for that ball retention. We'll see which way they chose to attack. See, the pressure on the scrum, blow through the scrum, winning the ball. Swinging the ball right now. CW does go wide, tries the one-on-one, -on -one, steps in and back out again. Backs himself, he's got the gas. And CW looking to score their first try in response. And he gets down under the post, well taken by the young man, backing himself up the wing. Looking for a conversion now. Conversion there successful by CW, and they do now lead 7-5. to five. The kickoff to come from CW late now in the first half. Stacking the men left and right. Full pressure both sides. He looks to kick and does kick shallow left. High contestable ball. Well taken by the Minnows. Tackle made. CW on top of that ball. Providing pressure. Minnows doing well to keep it alive. Keep the ball going. Thrown backwards on the ground, regathered and gone to the wing. Another big tackle made. Ball loose again, and now CW gathered the ball. Whistle has been blown. It looks like a scrum for CW, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, correction there, so it will be 
it will be a Minnows scrum and put it in their own zone here after that ball bobbling on the ground. Ball is in, pressure by CW, but Minnows retain the ball and now move it from right to left. Bit of room here on the wing. Man pinches and a dangerous tackle is made. However, running away with the ball is the Minnows. Backing himself one to beat here. It's a foot race. Looks like they will score and bring it under the posts. Great score here. We'll see if anything comes of that possible dangerous tackle in the last play on the last pass of the game there. Referee reaching in the pocket. And it will be a card. Now Looks like it is halftime here now on field one of the U18 boys vinyl. We've got two tries for the Minnows, one try for CW. Unsure what came out of that tackle, if it will be a penalty, if it will be a card, we will see at the start of the second half. Second half here set to begin in the U18 boys final. We've got two tries to the Minnows, one try to CW. Both teams playing with a full seven, no card given. Short kick by the Minnows. They've got space, it dribbles wide, he tries to keep it in. The referee says, no, 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 that did in fact go out. It will be a line out towards CW. Nifty offload attempt by the Minnows. CW was set up for a lineup. We'll see what they have in store for us here. In their own zone here, looking to get out of trouble. Balls up and regathered by CW. Lots of contact, a lot of bodies there. Referee whistle has blown. He says it is not straight. So they'll have a choice, the minnows, as to whether they would like the scrum. They choose the scrum, not the lineout. So, it will be scrum minnows on the 15 yard line, deep within the CW zone, attacking scrum here. We'll see what kind of pressure comes out of this scrum. CW, in the last couple of scrums, has put a lot of defensive pressure forward here. Ball set to be put in. Ball in and pressure given, picked up by the nine and gone wide. There's no defender there. They do scramble to defend him, get him down. And now spreading out in defense, and the CW has won the penalty. So the nine tried to back himself, go to the corner, and unfortunately, penalty given. CW quick tapping out of their own zone. First contact, beat. Three defenders now bringing him down. There's a lot of room here for CW. 
One pass made, decides he's going to try to go himself. Runs across the field. Tackled, possibly high. Play on, says the referee. Still awaiting ball to go down. Ball bobbled back. Referee's whistle has blown. We've got a knock on or offload forward there from CW. So we will have a Minnows scrum. Once all this calms down, it will be a Minnows scrum. Minnows still leading. A little bit of jersey swapping and changing as it is in a sevens tournament. Make things work. Minnow set to put in. Full field here to work with. Ball goes through and out cleanly. Minnows gather. They've created an overlap here on the angle. Oh, quick step on the defender here. Looking for an offload. Cuts back in, cuts back out. Oh, he's grabbed him by the hips, but he couldn't bring him down. Closer and closer, not quite in. A get ball loose, swung to the left. They've got room here, he cuts back against the grain, finding an easy try for himself, and a third try here for the Minnows now. Conversion taken, driven low and hard and wide. Not successful. It will be the Minnows to kick off. Midway through the second half here now. CW looking to gather and try to apply some pressure to their own or they will find themselves out of this game. Kickoff said to come low and hard and deep to the CW zone, forcing them to come out of their own territory. A step and he goes himself, breaks a contact here. Made it to about half, a wonderful run. Ball fought for at the ruck, but gathered by CW. Another short contact and ruck made. CW retaining ball, picks and goes and rolls off the defender. Desperation tackle, offload and another tackle. Great defense, great offloading here and a tackle missed. CW looking to score now. One more to Fendi. He wants to get as close as he can for that conversion and does get it under the posts. An answer here from CW. We've got a game. They want to take this conversion quickly so they can get back on the field and try to take the lead. Conversion is successful now. So CW will look to kick off with time ticking away in the second half. Kickoff made high and deep, gathered by the minnows and moved towards the center. He's found a small seam. Driving forward, we've got contact made. Center field here. CW pressuring the ruck. Still won by the minnows. Moving it to the left now. Two on two. Both defenders go, and he gets the offload away. Unfortunately, not kept by the minnows. Gathered on the ground now. Minnows still have the ball. Taking their time, prodding for holes in the center. Big tackle from the CW man. Ball kept by the minnows. Well defended, but CW unable to get the ball or cause any turnover. Low, hard tackle, ball moved away. Another low tackle. CW on the ball now, but won by the Minnows. Minnows looking to retain possession here. Counter rucked by CW. Minnows continue to retain possession, finding inside men and support. They've lost the ball forward now, though. CW with the knock on advantage. Does gain and kick the ball. However, we had knock on advantage. And there's a bit of uh, argy-bargy behind the play here. So referee Claude says, no, let's have our scrum here. CW scrum relatively halfway up the field on the 15-yard line. Some space to work with here, and they're going to have to put the pedal on if they want to get back into this game.
So we've had our scrum here, a little bobble by the nine on the put-in. Referee Claude has reset the scrum, and it will remain CW put-in. Putting in now. Defensive nine, choosing not to put pressure on. Play on, says ref here. The nine for Sibius found a seam, and he's got an open lane here. He's going to score under the post. This could be a huge game changer. Unknown what happened to that scrum there, but that ball did come loose, and the number three here playing scrum half found his way home and does slot that drop goal for the conversion. I believe CW is snuck back at the end to win this game, and it will be CW winning the U18 final on the final play of the game. Now, well done to both teams.